welcome back to the Tinker Tales channel. If you've not been here before, hello, I'm Vicky, and this is her number one husband. <laughs> number one duck. This is Richard. Um, if you, <laughs> <laughs> I'm running out of things to say. I know. Well, you could just say your name. Yeah. <laughs> so we have literally just got back from our Disney Magic at Seas vacation aboard the Disney Magic, and we thought while it's all still fresh in our heads, we would kind of give you a little rundown of what we thought about it and things that we maybe liked, loved, things that we didn't like, like. or that we don't think worked particularly well. Please bear in mind that we are on, we were on the UK location from the 18th of July. Yeah. Things have changed a little bit on there for cruises moving forward. They, they changed on the 19th. Yeah, things changed, they, yeah, things changed oh. a little bit. So um, just be aware that what's happened to us may not be the same for anyone going on future cruises yeah and, so, we, can, and we went out of liverpool so yeah we we went checking was specific yeah. to yeah we to went liverpool. yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> so let's start at the beginning so um we heard some horror stories about the first cruise that went out on the 15th from liverpool um about checking process and people were waiting in the cars for three hours just to get to the car park to be tested and things like that yeah. so we left here really really early we um were actually at the car park for about half eleven. Yeah, well there's also like a change someone posted on a Facebook group of a change of Yeah, a change of park. process. So there wasn't. Yeah, so <clears throat> it got very confusing on one of the Facebook groups. Someone was saying that our car park had changed somewhere else and it actually hadn't. It was the same as what it was meant to be the whole time. So we paid for the official cruise parking, which I think was twenty six pounds for the two nights, yeah. three days. We were there super early. We drove up, we could see lots of people in high vis Disney Cruise Line jackets um, and they said you can't come in yet because you're too early which we expected but we wanted to make sure we're in the right place yeah. and just opposite the Cruise Line uh, car park which is actually currently at the M&S Bank Arena is a McDonald's and a KFC so we just poodled across the road yeah. and parked up at McDonald's. 90 minutes free parking. Yeah and just sat there and waited. There were lots of other people doing the same yeah. we noticed so we sat there and waited and the way it worked was then when it was close to your port arrival time, I think we actually went in at 20 past 12. Yeah, I think just on the half hour sort of thing. Quarter past 20 Quarter past, past 12, 20. so about half hour before our actual port arrival time. So you drive up, they have a look at your port arrival form, check that you are allowed in at that time. You then go in through a maze of cones where they check your reservation, they check that your picture matches your passport, um they then tell you to get all your phonetic stuff ready yeah. you then again just drive around a maze like little stations that yeah little up. stations that you go to one person they go then go to the next person and i think if at any point something is not right there's places that they then pull you over to yeah. till you can get all your stuff sorted you then drive around and uh, go into the main car park we it was it all flowed really nicely yeah, for but us. even that changed while we were there they yeah started they, relaying. they started moving the cones around yeah. even while we were there waiting uh, so that there were two lanes going into the car park instead of one so yeah we then went into the main multi-story car park where we were directed to uh bag drop, bag drop. so you literally drive into the car park they ask you to get out the car and take your bags that you want loaded onto the ship off so we did that and then we were directed to a uh, testing bay. So you pull in at a testing bay, they pass you your test through the window, they scan your QR code, which is your proof of vaccination from the Pronetics website, and it has to be from the live website. Yeah, not the screenshot. Not the screenshot. You then, once you've done your test and you hand it back, it's... That can, sorry, that can be slow. So if, you, if you're just waiting, that could be why, because they've got to scan everyone's... QR code separately. Yeah. Write the bag up. So if, with us, it was the two of us, so it was really quick. But if you've got a family of four or five, yeah, it's gonna that's, slow. That's why it can take a while, yeah. I think, for people to get out of those testing bays because if you've got five or six of you travelling, um, you have to do, yeah, like you said, the barcode. Then they fill out the the test bag. Then they come back and do the next, next barcode. Barcode. Then they fill. So yeah, it can take a bit of time. But once you've done your test and it was super simple, you do it yourself, just up the nose, uh, five seconds on each nostril. You hand it back to them. You are then directed to um, another level. We went to level three. It might be different for other people, but we were directed up to another level of the car park where they told us where to park. And you literally just sit there and wait. Um, you wait until you get an email telling you that your test results are available. It took 28 minutes for us. It was just <laughs> under half an hour. Yeah, I checked. I was checking. Uh, they tell you that it's around about half an hour. If you're waiting more than 40 minutes, 
you have to let them know and to make them aware that you've got your email you just stick your hazard lights on so it all went swimmingly didn't it yeah no issues it is a bit of a tense they way come up, they come up and check your email and then they check on their system as well to make sure to that make sure that it's all done and then done. they're like off you go so then you come out of the car park you walk around to a, the arena where you're literally just in like a concrete basement of the arena yeah well that's ours you know again yeah we well, don't know where newcastle girls we don't no um so that's where you do your online check-in not your, your online check-in that's where you go and get checked in yeah uh they make sure that everything's all right and then you go and wait for to get on the boat to get on the coach coach the coach to go to the right. boat just as an fyi for liverpool um you cannot get out of your car until you have got your test yeah. cleared and done so richard really needed the toilet there was nowhere for him to go to the toilet until... It was a really hot day. We it was, drank lots yeah, of water. Yeah, we drank a lot of water there. coming up to it. Um, so, yeah, there was no... There, you can't get out and use the toilet. So, be aware of that for kids. You might want to pop over to the McDonald's or the KFC and get your kids to use the toilet before you get in the queue to do your testing and stuff. There are toilets in the check-in while you're waiting for the coach, though. So, he was very happy with that. You then get directed onto the coach. There was no calling of boarding numbers for us, was no, there? it was just rows of... It was just wherever you were sat. I think they took kind of like 25 people, didn't they? Yeah, just, Off yeah. You. There was no boarding groups or anything. Once you're past that point, it's just kind of a free-for-all. And this is where I started to get a little bit flustered, I think. So, we got onto the coach. And uh, in Liverpool, where the M&S Bank Arena is and where the port is, it's along the Strand. And there is some insane roadworks going on there yeah. right I think now. That was a, the longest. That was part the longest of the part of the whole thing was getting from. It's not far. It really isn't far, but unfortunately, you're not allowed to walk no, it. You're in your bubble. You're then. in your bubble then, so you have to get on the coach. The coach was hot. It was sticky, and it was slow because of the roadworks. But that's no one's fault. That's not Disney's fault. That's not Frenetic's fault. That's just the way it is. Yeah. So, but that was the most uncomfortable part of the whole thing and for that's me. Probably about what? 35 40, 35 minutes. 40 minutes to go less than a mile <laughs> and then somebody else on the bus on the way back was saying you know it took them an hour yeah just, we were quite lucky because we were so early yeah. we were one of the first coaches i think we were only the second coach to go because we missed the first one we were just past the cut off for the first coach we were on the second coach to go so yeah we were quite lucky i think moving on it would have got worse and worse as the day yeah. went on um but yeah that was that was that and then it just turned into a complete whirlwind for me and I just couldn't appreciate what was going on around me. I mean, I, I've been struggling with my anxiety a lot recently and this just flew it into overdrive. Uh, because you get off the coach, you go through security, you literally get off the coach, you go straight down into security. And that's airport security, it's, belts, yeah, watches, belts, watches, bracelets, everything. everything off, your bags get scanned through. Once you get off there, you literally are walking onto the boat. It was... Well, a little bit, so you go down the... the, the yeah, jetty. you go down the, the dock and then you're you're basically on the boat. I was like, are we getting on the boat now? What, what's yeah. going on? I was like, I thought we'd have to wait for our boarding group or something to be called, but no, nope, nope. literally. Walk the length of the boat. Walk the length of the boat, you get on the boat. So we got on the boat, then we were directed round a little bit of the boat. I was just like walking around going, oh, I'm on the boat, like I don't understand what's going on. It was really good, they had little... Each section was a different thing. So we got on and we got, we, they checked our boarding passes again, our boarding cards on the belt. Yep. And then from there you go into a lift. So, oh, someone will meet you upstairs. So we go up in the lift, no one. The, he'd obviously walk someone around, didn't he? Yeah. And from there you go into one of the lounges and they do your app. Um, it, so, it was. So set everything up. It was well it, done. It was very well done, but it was so rushed that I couldn't even appreciate that we'd got on the, bloody boat i was just like what's going on oh, oh, oh look at that look what, what, ah. yeah there was no hanging around you there was were, no, it was literally like bang bang bang, bang. so yeah you go you get on the boat you go in a lift you go from a lift to the lounge i think we were in uh fathoms, fathoms. it was, was either it? fathoms or d lounge i'm not can't fathoms. quite remember was it fathoms yep. we went into fathoms they check that your app is working you go from there you're directed to another person who then does your welcome onto the ship or was the welcome first? No, Fathoms and then into the atrium. atrium. And then, yeah, you get directed into the atrium where you're told to stand on the spot. Mickey and Minnie do a lovely show. It was very nice. I cried. You're then picked up from that point and you're sent to go and find your um, assembly point. Assembly point, yeah. And then you have to go to the assembly point and scan the thing. And then it was like, off you go. And I was like... I We're in. Oh, 
oh okay this this is it this is it now we, our ho okay great our holiday started it was for me i just found it all a bit much because i wanted to take my i know like when you get on the boat in normal circumstances you do your welcome first and then that's kind of it until the mandatory safety drill but as they're not doing group safety drills you literally just have to go and find your assembly point there's people stood at each one there's a qr code there's a qr there. code that you scan um and it registers to the app that you've completed your safety briefing but i yeah for me it was all a bit much because i didn't have time to you'll see it on the vlogs which are probably going to come up after this i just was like what the hell just happened we're okay we're on the boat brilliant yeah i don't it didn't feel as magical as i thought it would the getting on part no it's they're obviously just trying to keep everyone separate so little yeah groups. It, 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 it felt like it was a long constant stream of people coming on yeah I, well, which it would be anyway in normal times it's constantly this person in this person in this person in welcome to the Disney magic blah 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 welcome to the Disney, which i get but then once you're in you're then free to kind of go and breathe it all in and take yeah. it all in you couldn't take in the atrium because you were literally ushered out of yeah. there very quickly which i understand it's a completely different way of doing it and i get that but personally for me i it just was a bit much like i just couldn't breathe yeah. for a minute and obviously you've got to have your masks on the whole time while you're indoors so yeah but we, we got on yeah. <laughs> and we were really lucky to be one of the first few people on weren't we yeah really really lucky so we were on the boat by quarter past two and through yeah. i think by th through all the things that we had to do by about yeah. quarter past two so an hour and a half really from our port arrival time. time that was pretty pretty sweet i think we did good yeah. there obviously once we've done that we then went and got food because we were starving uh we went to cabanas which is different again so cabanas now whereas normally it's you have the two sides which the whole way along cabanas is a buffet and you have a massive selection now you have stations so there's five different stations each of them has the exact same thing on you are directed to what is going to be your station so you can go up as many times as you want you just have to keep going back to that same same place but because there's five sections there is a much more limited choice yeah. isn't there which again didn't bother us they had no. stuff that we wanted to eat they also have a dessert section and a salad section but seafood, but, yeah. seafood and all that kind of stuff same if you want to go get drinks you have to a cast member does everything for you now you can't go and help yourself to stuff but the staff and all the cast members i can't fault any cast members that we encountered on oh the, the excitement thing. as we were going into cabanas yeah they were they, oh yeah they were so happy to yeah. see us because we were like one of the first people into cabanas as well and they were so happy to see us yeah it was it was just so much fun but yeah and then we went to the pool straight after that didn't we because we had our pool stuff with us yeah uh as hand luggage so yeah so we it's went, a good little treat make yeah. sure you take because what our bags got to do about four o'clock yeah so we had a good two hours of, we had a good couple of hour, hours hour, before hour, we hour, went hour, down hour. to the stateroom yeah so uh this is another thing now as well your key to the world card you don't get given it a check-in it is on your stateroom door they say your staterooms are ready from four o'clock we went down about 10 to yeah and our luggage was already there our stateroom was ready and yeah we were straight in weren't we yeah so yeah I'm trying to think like what what other things that didn't weren't amazing for us i think the lifts the we've lifts. always heard that as well haven't we that yeah we've is. always heard about like the lifts being busy but the difference is now obviously only one party can okay. go in a lift so if even if there's a party of two and another party of two you can't go in the lift together so that means that if you're all waiting for a lift and then someone you go to get in a lift but there's already people in it you can't get in the lift as well even if there is space so uh yeah, if you call it again yeah if you can use the stairs we use the stairs a lot like i could feel it in my thighs yeah. <laughs> but likewise if you were if you were in the lift and you're on deck nine going down to your stateroom on deck four you would stop at yeah every you floor, can use, someone yeah you out. sometimes stop at everything so yeah if you can use the the stairs i'd recommend using stairs but because we did wait quite a long we time we only found that in midship though midship is worse yeah the midship afton. lifts afton um forwards aren't too bad so yeah there you go I'm trying to think what else tax vat vat is a bit we're, we're all talking negative here like we will we will get to positives i yeah. promise uh, we want to we'll, end on a high we want to end on a high um so the um vat on board 
because we're in English waters, um, they have put 20% tax on everything. So merchandise, any alcohol you buy, any speciality coffees or foods. I think those are like varying things. Varying from, like, levels, but yeah, there is 20% VAT yeah. on most things, um, which, it, you know, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it, but it does get frustrating. And pricey. And pricey, especially if you're buying merch. So obviously it's the same as in America. It's not listed as the full price on any of the merchandise. You kind of have to work it out in your head. But I mean, we still bought plenty. So. Yeah. But so he was twenty dollars. With the VAT. Without your VAT. Oh, without the VAT. So plus your twenty percent VAT on top. Uh, Twenty-five dollars there thereabouts. Yeah. So yeah, just be aware of that if you are going on the cruise and you're buying anything. I think it's a bit sneaky, but I understand it. Um, there's, like I said, there's nothing you can do about it. If you don't want to buy stuff, don't buy it. Basically, yeah. we we chose to spend money. <laughs> but there's quite a few people that had a shock at the tills, like when the bill was. Yeah, when they oh, that's went, 170 and they got like six things. Yeah, it does add up quite quickly. Um, one other thing that I right, this is I promise this is gonna be the last negative thing I say. The rest is all going to be really, really good stuff, I promise. So, I've never been asked in Walt Disney World or Disneyland Paris, where are your kids? Or just in general. Just general, it was that where, the question. Where, where are, are your, your kids? kids? Um, and we got asked that several times. Uh, we got asked it in Paolo. We got asked it in the restaurants. We got asked in the yeah. merchandise shops. Oh, where are your kids? We don't have kids. Okay, <laughs> um, it's not by choice. I can't have children, so for me, it's. I, I don't know if I noticed it more because it's a sensitive topic for me. But even if it was just our choice not to have children, or if it was our choice to go away without our children, I just found that. And it was always like, oh, well, okay. Yeah, I just found I've never been asked it in Walt Disney World, and I know they're just making conversation. Like I don't, you know, it's nothing that's upset me massively. But it's just I think we just noticed it. Just noticed it a lot more. And I know it's a Disney cruise and it is for families and stuff, but there was a lot of adult couples there. Yeah. That or there was a lot of older families with like adult like adult children with yeah. their older parents. It wasn't there just was a lot of them. There was a lot of that. So, you know, I just found that a bit odd that that was a question that we got asked a lot. I don't I think But then just, we thought maybe it's just because we're in Europe. Maybe, yeah, I don't know what it is, but yeah, but just we don't know. that's that's I, it's just something that I don't I, I don't know it just irks me a little bit but that's probably because I'm quite sensitive about it P people are probably sitting there going what a stupid thing to get annoyed about I'm not annoyed about it it's just it's something that I notice so there we go because some people it might be it might trigger things for me yeah. it does a little bit but I've gotten used to, it. used to it but yeah there we go um, <laughs> right good things Everything else was amazing. <laughs> like, was, apart from my ice cream. <laughs> oh no, Rich did Short have a disappointing ice cream. Um, but yeah, you didn't can't get half of it. You, you don't. You can't do it yourself now. So a cast member did it, and it was the most pathetic ice cream. You'll see it on the vlogs. Um, it was the most <laughs> pathetic ice cream we've ever seen. But the cast members, I could not rate highly enough. Oh, and they were all set and I know it's Disney but alright we're glad to have people they, yeah back. they were so happy and we did chat to quite a few especially um we chatted to uh, is it Mark Marco Marco who is one of the if you are going on the cruise he's in uh Keys he's the bar manager in Keys and he is awesome ask him to make you a margarita but just don't specify anything just say make me whatever you want as a margarita and he will make you the best margarita you've ever had he did our tasting yeah well, so he did our it. margarita and tequila tasting session um yeah, and we were the first guests because like um, some of the restrictions changed overnight. Uh, so yesterday, we were the first guests to be able to sit up at the bar in Keys um, this year. What was it, March? So the actual date, March thirteenth, twenty twenty. 2020. 2020. We were his first guests back up at the bar. So and he is the bartender for that bar. Yeah. So he only deals with the guests that are sitting at the, at bar. the bar. So it's the first time he'd actually been able to sit and chat with anyone. Um, while making drinks and stuff, so that was a really cool experience, yeah. wasn't it? And he oh, was his knowledge of his ah oh, his yeah knowledge of tequila and the sh different ships and the different bars on the different ships because he's worked across all of them. He's a great person to chat to, so go and say hi to him if you do see him. But yeah, all the cast members are amazing. They 
can't do enough for you. Um, we had, you know, if you go into the Quiet Cove pool, which is like the adult area, which is where we spent a lot of our time, the guy doing the towels there, just non-stop. Yeah. The second someone moves, he's like cleaning it up, he's putting fresh towels down. Just amazing. Yeah. All the bartenders that we dealt with were so, so yeah. nice. They'd like recommend you drinks and stuff. And they'd chat as well. It wasn't... Yeah, they'd have a little chat with you. No one was particularly pushy apart from like, I think the jewellery people are a bit pushy. Yeah, but, but that's that's their commission. Yeah, they're, they're not Disney staff. Generally, yeah, they're, they're kind of like separate. But yeah, um, our servers that we had for the two nights were were lovely. Alex and Kamal. Yeah, they were really really lovely. And it was really easy. So we specifically asked for Amrita's palette. Yeah. But so if you watched like my pre-planning vlogs for this. We requested Animator's Palette as part of our dining rotation, but we only requested Animator's Palette. When we got on board, we had Lumiere's and Animator's Palette, and I was a little bit gutted because I really wanted to go to Rapunzel's, but I wanted to make sure that Rich got his choice. So you can now chat to guest services via your Navigator app. Yeah. So we were on board. He asked if it was possible to change rotations. And it was done, what? As we were eating tea. As we were eating in Cabanas, it, by the time we'd done at Cabanas, it was done, we were changed and we re were able to go to Animated Palette and Rapunzel, so. But if you want to do it, they can only do it up till half past four. Yeah, so. So check on your navigator and it will tell you where you're eating on the evenings. Yeah. Rather than on your card. Because if you don't get your keys, keys to the wall card until like four, ten past four when you're there. You don't have time to do it. You don't have time to, to do it, so. Yeah, so you do it as soon as you get on board because you can, you know, on the navigator app, it will tell you where you're eating for yeah, a few nights. Yeah, and it was seconds they're done yep yeah, done sorted just go and see the restaurant manager when you get there and yep yeah, they will sort yeah they can put on the changes but yeah that was brilliant because i i was really i was a little bit disappointed because rapunzel's was my first choice but because rich has paid for this holiday i wanted to make sure he got his first choice but we both got our first yeah. choices so um yeah so if you are on the cruise a little bit later then unfortunately you're kind of stuck with what you've got but yeah. we were we were really lucky to be on so early and, um, and the service like we didn't realise you would really want the souffle. Yeah, and that was the only thing, because I wanted to go to Lumiere's, but only because I wanted the souffle. And I thought, oh, it's all, it'll be all right. I'm sure they'll do it in another restaurant. And they didn't. But we were chatting to Kamal, who was our server, and he was like, oh, he's like, oh, that's a shame, but, you know. Remind me tomorrow. Remind me tomorrow. So I kind of just gave him a little wink the next day. And lo and behold, my souffle turned up along with my dessert from Rapunzel. So that was... Like that little bit of extra magic, just and it was so worth it because that souffle was amazing. <laughs> it, it's I don't want to say it's what you expect from Disney, but it's what Disney do. It is what Disney do. They do yeah. give amazing guest service. Like I said, there wasn't a single cast member that I can fault. Even just walking past them, you know, they're like, "Morning, how are you? How's your day been?" You know, they're always there to chat. Um, it was so lovely. I can't really think of anything else to say apart from everything else was amazing. And it was straightforward. There's no slight issue with our credit card for whatever reason it didn't pre-authorise. Yeah. So we got a message on the navigator. Can you put guest services? That was fixed. Yeah, everything comes through your navigator app now. It's so yeah. simple. Uh, it tells you what activities are on and where. Uh, your dining. Like we ordered room service, didn't we? One day that was really, really good for yeah. breakfast. The wonderful Paolo thought rather than go. We do, yeah, we didn't want to go up to a restaurant, so we right. ordered it to come to our room. That was their bang on like seven o'clock, yep. so it just worked. Everything just flowed. I mean, I, I can't really think of anything else to say apart from I loved it, and I would if like if I had the money, I would be booking to go again before yeah. they finish because it was so relaxing. I mean, it is what you make it. I think. Yeah. Um, oh, there's lots of people that would like talking to and were around that had done the back to back yeah there was quite a few that had done like they'd done the three night they were staying on for the two nights they were trying to stay on for the next one yeah um it's just different it's just something different it's nice to be away sleeping in a different bed our cabin was lovely yeah we were on an inside um cabin and the first night i slept amazingly i was out like a light so dark it's so dark in there it was lovely the second night I started to feel a bit ill about two o'clock. I think that was when we were docking and I, I felt really weird. But um, for the most part, I was fine with the motion. I didn't yeah. really get motion sickness, but then I was wearing C-bands and I did have my motion sickness tablet. So I was, I'm so glad that I didn't feel too unwell on this boat. The food, I think, made me feel a bit unwell, but not from like a bad point, but it was just very rich and I'm not, we're not used to eating. Yeah, well, what did we have for food. lunch? It was the brunch, the antipasti, 
Well, they'll see all that in the vlog. Stop. You're going to spoil it. Shush. Shush. You're going to spoil it. They're coming up. Um, I can't think of what else to say, really. So I think that is about it for all we've got to say. I mean, if you have any questions about our cruise, please feel free to leave me a comment um, and I will get back to you. Um, if you want to contact me on social media, Twitter is at Tinker underscore Tales and Instagram is Tinker underscore Tales 2018. Say that without your head. I can't. I just can't <laughs> now. It's just what it is. I mean, I'm, I'm just tired now. Like, we've only been away two days and I'm... They were long. They were long days. Days. They were long days, but not did you feel tired. It went quickly, but we, we've, we've, done we've done a lot. So, yeah, I can't wait for everyone to see the vlogs. If you're not already, please consider subscribing to my Diddy Little channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And that is about it. I would like to go back to the magic now, please. <laughs> 180 days. Well, 180 days to win Walt Disney World, 188 days until, until we're World. on a Disney cruise line. Hopefully. I mean, I'm not going to lie, if I come into some money over the next couple of days, I'll be straight on booking. We did say lottery, but I did specify not a tenner. No. Not a lucky dip. That was one thing I do want to say very quickly before I end this. Well, I'm going to end this just very quickly. We paid £740 for our two night cruise. Uh, the cheapest stateroom we could possibly get at as the soon time. As, it opened. as soon as it opened. Do this is like the big question. And we've asked this a few times. Do the last of I think it was worth the money? No. If I if I mean I'm saying that I would book it again if I had the money. For us, that's a lot of money to spend on two nights, and then obviously we've spent money on merchandise and we've we've bought a couple of alcoholic drinks and we you know dined at Paolo and stuff. I think it's an overpriced. When you consider that our four night Bahama cruise with Castaway Key is eleven 1 hundred. In a veranda room. In a veranda. Yeah, so um I mean But I'd do it again. I'd do it again. If money was no object, of course I would. But I think Disney have priced it too. Yeah, if it was like that was the price in normal circumstances where you can meet characters and have all these photos with characters and, you know, all this more interaction, then I would say it's worth it, but then that would never happen. No. They're not going to do these staycations in normal times. I mean, we were happy to pay it because we needed that time away. And also because, I think we said in the other vlogs, everything else was that price. Everything, that's holiday. the problem. Was... Everything, every staycation at the moment is, is very expensive, but I don't think... The, what, and the prices that some people have paid. Well, we looked today, didn't we? Yeah, so. one of them is now like I think what is it? The Four Night Southampton. The only obviously the only rooms left are concierge, but it's six and a half thousand pound, which is the cost of a two week holiday to Florida. Let more than. Yeah. Well, we we found one two night, didn't we, for twelve hundred? No, there's a two night for nine hundred and sixty. Oh, oh. Yeah. But I mean, it's... if I had that, I'd do it again. But yeah, I don't honestly think that the price that we've paid was a hundred percent worth it in terms of the feels and you know how i feel about it yes it was it's very confusing it's very confusing i think it was too expensive but i loved it <laughs> and i want to go back now please there we go right we are ending this now thank you very much for watching guys have a magical day bye, bye.